Hello guys, welcome to Top Anime Sensei. This video is the continuation video after Testarossa's grand entry. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it. The link is in the description. So without any further delay let's start. But before we start, please like, subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. If it were like Luminous Sama's method, and that they had no interest in the human domain, we could perhaps successfully coexist with one another. On the other hand, if we were to walk the path that Demon Lord Rimuru promotes, humanity would fall prey to his control. We must stop him at all costs. But Great Elder Grandel, if there is no viable way to fight back, regardless of what plan we create, it would have flaws. I am well aware of what Mariabelle was afraid of. But now that even our Chaos Dragon trump card is lost, we have no more options left. Rezul should not be moved out so easily either. Dolan's words were a reality check. Sitter nodded while Johan agreed. Johan had directly interacted with the dangerous individual named Mariabelle before. To have one against that menacing young girl, Demon Lord Rimuru sure was terrifying. Right now, it's probably smarter to pretend to play along with Rimuru's will as we accumulate our strength again. That was Johan's belief. With that being said, likely sensing that the others were hesitant, Granbel expressed his view vociferously. Fools. Did you lose your nerve? No matter how chaotic the world is, no matter what sacrifice we have to make, the human world should be ruled by us humans. Have you forgotten? The others did not dare make a sound against such a fierce aura. Granbel rarely expressed his emotions, and because of that, they could tell how deep Granbel's hatred and fury truly ran. I am tired. If this continues on, the human world will be destroyed, and in its place, Demon Lord Rimuru will have the entire world in the palm of his hand. If this is our fate, then I shall make my last stand. I am going all in for this wager. You people can follow your own will. Granbel had given the others time to contemplate their decision for the future. Would they follow Granbel to fight against destiny, or surrender to demon Lord Rimuru? In order to prevent the Rosso bloodline from dying out, someone needed to sever all ties and become a hostile faction to the Rossos. Only Dolan chose this option. My domain is far from the heat of battle. I shall be the last of the Rosso family and judge the history to come with fairness. Grandel approved of Dolan's words. Very well, I fear that I won't have the opportunity to do this in the future, so I shall give my final words to you. It's too late for me, but you must never hold a grudge. Grandel steeled his resolve and left Dolan with this advice. Dolan quietly wept and nodded. He then left the scene alone. Johan knew this would be their final gathering, yet he had no regrets in his heart. Granbel was the progenitor of the Rosso family. When considering the hardship he had already experienced, to Johan, sacrificing himself for the cause was nothing. Sitter had the same thought, and so, the three began planning their final scheme. Granbel would manipulate Grandmaster Yuki of the Freedom Association into confronting Luminous. Sitter would dissolve the Western Defense Network and allow the demons from the North to wage war against the Western nations. Johan, on the other hand, would sabotage the defensive barrier that protected the capital of Ingratia and kill off key members of the Western Council. If it was possible, he aimed to kill the delegate of the Tempest Federation, hopefully antagonizing Demon Lord Rimuru and also worsening his relationship with Demon Lord Guy. And so, human society would be plunged into chaos. They would deal with the aftermath later. After all, their designated survivor, Dolan, would lead the restoration of society. There might also be some nation that stood out and rose to power. Or perhaps someone would become humanity's new hope and lead the masses. Granbel seemed to have some other ideas, but Johan did not give too much thought to it. Are you all fine with this? You do understand that I am sending you all to your deaths, right? Why in the world would we object? I am also a member of the Rossos, and my heart rests with you, Grand Elder. Me too, while my illness-ridden body may not accompany you to the end. I wish to be at least of some use. Grandel had asked to confirm their will, and both Johan and Sitter answered without hesitation. There was a reason why Johan's mind changed so quickly. The Rosso family naturally should follow the order of Grandel. Without his guardianship, the family would never have prospered. This was just how much the fate of the family relied on Grandel. It was obvious Grandel had decided to embrace his death, and so the usually indecisive Johan made up his mind. Dolan Dono appears heartbroken as well. It's like a child being abandoned by his parents. Surely his heart must be uneasy too, Johan thought to himself. In considering that viewpoint, 
perhaps he was rather happy in the end. He could bear the pride of the Rosso family and accept his final moments. Johann followed Grandel's orders and made contact with the Apostles of Vert which previously conspired with Gavin. He promised to assist them. The Apostles' goal was to summon the green deity that could plunge the world into anarchy. This mercenary band's dream was to blossom during that chaotic state, an ideal that was completely self-centered. Back to present time. Johann's mission was complete. The Apostles of Vert had also clearly achieved their ambitions, because their god, Demon Pier Misery, had answered their summoning. Misery was more terrifying than some demon lords. She wouldn't break a sweat in destroying the kingdom of Ingratia. Kyukuku, even the supposed strongest unit of this nation, the magical inquisitors, froze at the sight of the demon. This country is doomed. Our nation of Rostu will probably be affected as well. I suppose I'll just have to apologize to everyone in the next life. In satisfaction, Johan glanced around the meeting hall and what he saw next made him question his eyes. Faced against misery, the embodiment of horror, was a person that wore a gentle, conspicuous smile. The young man standing beside her seemed disinterested at the fact as well, completely at ease. What's wrong with those two? Johan, shocked, recalled that those two were the delegates of Tempest, Testarossa and her servant. Moss, I see, what an interesting scheme. Johan don't know. Could it be that you wish to destroy this nation and plunge the world into chaos and war? Testarossa's reaction displeased Johan quite a bit. He was even more upset at how casual and calm Testarossa was acting while facing Misery, the walking calamity that surpassed demon lords. What if I did? Yet he quickly changed his view. While Testarossa may be strong as a monster, her arrogant confidence would soon be her downfall. You can't do anything with strength alone. You haven't even seen through your opponent's true strength. That ignorance will destroy you. When she finally realizes the reality of her situation, she'll cry and plead. By purely imagining the sight of a distressed Testarossa begging for mercy, Johann's heart was filled with an overwhelming sense of ecstasy. How very laughable. Your plan failed the very moment I was appointed military attaché. Kyukuku, what nonsense are you talking about? Hearing Testarossa's words, a calm smile settled on Johan's face. The more confident Testarossa was, the greater her despair would be when she got a taste of what was to come. With that belief, Johan eagerly anticipated that moment. It was then that the speaker interrupted their conversation. Testarossa Dono, this is no time to chit-chat. You must escape even if it's by yourself. And you must report to His Majesty Rimuru as soon as possible. Aura, Speaker Dono, what should I say to His Majesty Rimuru-sama? In the Western nations, people's comprehension of demons was not deep. Compared to the experts in the Eastern Empire, what they knew was barely the tip of the iceberg. The speaker was no exception. When he saw Misery, he was not aware of her species. He only knew that she was the subordinate of Guy Crimson, the symbol of terror, and therefore determined Misery to be a highly threatening individual. Ignorance is a sin. But sometimes it was useful too. Had the speaker and the counselors known demons well enough, their hearts would have despaired the moment Misery appeared. They were lucky since they hadn't fallen into that state yet, which was why the speaker continued to earnestly beg Testarossa. Please inform him that one of Demon Lord Guy's subordinates has invaded our land. Surely he will not leave the council for dead. The speaker knew he was being too optimistic. Regardless of how much Demon Lord Rimuru sought to coexist with humans, he would not purposely go against Demon Lord Guy just to secure his wish. It was a simple cost-benefit analysis that anyone would understand. Yet even with that being the case, the speaker still wanted to have a glimmer of hope on this small possibility. He had seen Demon Lord Rimuru with his own two eyes and believed his words. Perhaps if it is that emotional and overtly human Demon Lord, he may just defy logic and save us despite knowing that his thought was absurd. The speaker couldn't help but to think so. That was the reason why he was still able to maintain a coherent frame of mind amidst the terror. Testarossa smiled at the speaker. That's why I am here. Although the speaker didn't understand what she meant by that for the longest time, he would soon enough, and he was not the only one confused about Testarossa's words. Johan felt the same. That composed, easygoing attitude of Testarossa had pushed him to his limit. Do you really think I'll just sit by and let you interfere? Gerard Dono, it's about time to give them a reality check. However, Gerard, as he was being ordered around by Johan, 
was also confused by the scene in front of him. Why? Why hasn't Misery Sama made a move yet? And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have not watched my other videos then please watch them. The links are in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.